Before we import uh, this schematic into our PCB, I'm going to make uh, one change in uh, project settings. Left click on project, left click on project options, left click on class generation, uh, uncheck generate rooms, left click, uncheck component classes, left click. If you don't know what this means, uh, don't worry, okay? Just uncheck this and later, uh, if you like, you can, you can have a look what this is doing or how these rooms are used, but I don't use them for any of my projects, so I always uncheck this. Left click on OK. And now this is the moment of the truth. To import our schematic into PCB, left click on Design and left click on this Update PCB document. Here you will see what is going to happen. So we are going to add uh, these components into our PCB and we are going to add these nets into our PCB. Everything seems to be fine. Left click on execute changes and left click on close. This black area here, that's our PCB. When you use mouse wheel, you can zoom out and here you can see the components from our schematic. We would like to adjust the shape of uh, our board. We would like to make it smaller. So first we are going to change the units. Scroll down, left click on millimeters. Uh, change the grid, double click in this grid manager, double click here and uh, change the step or set the step to 10 millimeters. Left click on OK. To change the shape of your board, you need to go into view, left click on view, and you need to use this board planning mode. So left click here, or you can use, you can press number one on your keyboard. Left click, left click on design, uh, left click on redefine board shape. We can draw it somewhere here, it doesn't really matter. Just left click to start drawing the shape of your new board and uh, then uh, one, two, so this is 10 millimeters, 20 millimeters. Left click, one, two, left click, one, two, left click, one, two, left click. Right click to cancel the command. Left click on view and go back into 2D layout mode. Uh, left click here or press number two on your keyboard. We can move these components a little bit closer, so left button on your mouse, hold it down, select these components, release the left button, press left button on your mouse, hold it down, move components. We would like to move also this origin, the X0, Y0 position, left click on edit, uh, select origin and left click on set. Left click in this corner of our PCB. Now here is X0, Y0, watch down here, okay? And we would like to also change the grid. So press G on your keyboard and uh, select 0.5 millimeter, left click. Left click on view, uh, left click fit board. Set the stack up, left click on design, left click on layer stack manager and this is very simple PCB uh, only what I would like to change is the thickness of the core between top and bottom layer at this moment it's very thin just left click left click again and change this to 1.6 enter left click OK we are going to specify the most basic rules on our PCB left click on design left click on rules the first rule what we are going to specify is the minimum clearance that's basically the minimum distance between objects uh, between electrical objects on our PCB so for example when you will be routing uh, tracks uh, close to each other then we are going to specify what is the minimum distance between these tracks go into design rules electrical clearance left click on this clearance rule and uh, left click here, write 0.3, press tab. You will get these numbers from your PCB manufacturer, okay? 
Next, uh, go inside design rules, routing, width, and left click on this width rule. Uh, we are going to specify minimum, preferred, and maximum track width on our PCB. Left click here, write 0 0.5, uh, press tab, 0 0.3, press tab, 1 millimeter, press tab. Again, you will get this minimum width from your PCB manufacturer. And uh, the last rule, what we are going to change is inside here, routing via style, left click on routing vias. In our board, we are going to use following via. Just left click here and change via diameter to be 0 0.6, press tap 0 0.6, tap 0 0.6, tap, and the hole is going to be 0 0.3, 0 0.3, press tap 0 0.3, tap 0 0.3, tap, left click on OK. To work inside of this uh, PCB environment, uh, just use mouse wheel to zoom in, zoom out. Or if you would like to pan the PCB, if you would like to move the PCB, press right button on your mouse, hold it down and move the mouse. Also what I changed uh, is uh, I switched off the auto pan. So uh, when uh, a command is active, for example, when I try to route something and if I go to this properties panel, the board is not moving automatically away. Uh, and I'm telling you this because by default you have to use tap to be able to go into this properties panel and then you have to uh, click on this uh, pause button to go back into this uh, canvas. So if you would like to have it the uh, same way as I have it, I can go directly here and board is not moving. What you can do, uh, you can uh, change the system preferences, left click on this wheel here. Go into PCB editor, left click here, left click on general and uh, uncheck this enable auto pan. We are going to place the components on our PCB. Use mouse wheel uh, to zoom out. Now hover cursor over this uh, header, press left button, hold it down move the header, release the left button. Now hover cursor over R1, press left button, hold it down, move this resistor, press spacebar to rotate. Uh, uh, watch the, watch these, uh, they are called rats, so watch these lines which are here. We don't want to leave it rotated this way because then it will be a little bit more difficult to connect. So press left button, hold it down, press spacebar again and spacebar again. This will be better for layout. Uh, place it, for example, somewhere here. Now press left button, hold it down and move also this D1. Press spacebar to rotate and release the left button. Now we are going to connect these pins. Uh, first, be sure you are on top layer, the top layer of the PCB is active, so left click here. And to draw the tracks, to do the layout, left click on route and use this interactive routing command. Or you can use this button here, that same command, just left click. Uh, hover cursor over middle of the pin where you would like to start drawing. Uh, you will see this circle. It means the cursor is snapped into center of the path. That's where you would like to start drawing the tracks. Left click, left click, left click, left click, left click, left click. Right click to cancel drawing the tracks. If you would like to adjust the shape of the track, just left click now left button hold it down and you can move it like this to continue drawing just left click on this interactive routing button uh, left click into center of the path left click left click and uh, we could uh, connect 
this path directly here. But I would like to show you uh, how you can use vias and how you can uh, draw polygons. So instead of connecting it directly here, we are going to place a via here. So we can go from the top layer to the bottom layer of our PCB. Uh, you have more options. Uh, watch down here. If you would like to go on the bottom layer or on different layer, you can use plus and minus on your keyboard. See, it will automatically place via and now we uh, we can continue doing layout on the bottom layer. Or what you can do, you can place the via manually. So I'm going to cancel this, press the right button on my mouse. I'm going to uh, continue drawing from this path. At this moment we are on the bottom layer, so you can see cursor is not going to snap on this path because it is on the top layer. We need to uh, make top layer active. Left click. Now uh, left click on this path start routing this track, uh, let's say something like this, left click, right click to uh, cancel drawing this track, right click to cancel this command, and we are going to place the via manually. Uh, you can go and you can use uh, the command from here, left click on place, and place via, do not place path, okay, we need to place via, so left click here, or here is same command. Just uh, left click on this button, uh, double check the parameters of the vias in these properties panel, be sure the hole size is 0.3 mm, if it's not just uh, write, uh, correct it, okay, so just write uh, 0.3, press tab, and be sure the diameter is uh, 0.6 mm, again, if it's not correct, just left click here and write 0.6, press tab. Also, what we would like to do, we would like to tend uh, the via. By default, the uh, vias are not tented, so uh, I will uncheck this. This is the untented via. It means uh, there is uh, no green color on the via. So the via is not covered by the PCB color, but we would like to cover it. So check this and check this. Now the via will be covered by the green color, that's exactly what we would like to have, and just place it on this track somewhere here, left click, right click to cancel this command. When you are placing vias, always place them on um, tracks, because then the via will automatically pick up the net name. If you just go and if you place a via somewhere here, it has no uh, net. Uh, assigned and then uh, it's not possible to connect it. If I uh, route it, it's not possible to connect this kind of via. So if you would like to place via here, just draw the track first and then place the via on the top of the track, okay? Then the via has the correct net name. Uh, I will press Ctrl Z or uh, you can press Edit Undo or you can use this arrow here to cancel the last commands. It is very useful to know how to delete tracks uh, and there are more ways how you can do it. So first way to delete the uh, tracks is just select a segment, left click on a segment which you would like to delete and then press delete on your keyboard. Or what you can do, uh, you can uh, select the segment, left click and then use backspace on your keyboard. This is special command because it will delete this segment and it will automatically select the next segment. So when you multiple times press backspace, you can very easily delete the whole track. If you need to delete whole track, there is uh, another way how you can do it. You can just uh, left click to select a segment and then press tab on your keyboard. It will select the track on, on the, it will select all the segments of a track on one specific layer, on the active layer, and now you can press delete. Or, if you would like to completely delete a track, which is, uh, for example, routed on multiple layers, like this, then you select uh, one segment, press tab once, it will select the, all the segments on one layer, and then press tab again, it will select all the segments 
on all the layers and then you can simply press delete okay so there are multiple ways how to delete thing and this is very useful to know that's why i would like to th that's why i wanted to show it in this video okay uh, we are going to finish our layout we are going to place big copper big polygon on the bottom uh, layer of our pcb to connect this via with this uh, path uh, left click on uh, bottom layer tab to make the bottom layer active left click on place left click on polygon pour this is what we would like to use uh, select the net where this uh, polygon should be connected uh, we would like to connect it to ground net so left click select ground be sure you are going to draw it on the bottom layer and uh, you can start drawing like this left click left click left click this uh, is a little bit annoying here this uh, display i will switch it uh, off then i will show you how to do it left click left click zoom out right click right click left click into empty space to unselect uh, everything and this is the bottom layer this is the polygon on the bottom layer and you can see it is making connection between this via and this path left click on the top layer so we can see it nicely i promise to show you how you can uh, switch off this uh, display which is here i never use it i always switch it off just go into system preferences left click on this wheel which is here and inside pcb editor board inside mode uncheck this display heads up information left click and left click on ok button see now it's perfect it's not here we are going to adjust this uh, seal screen layer left click on top overlay hover cursor over this r1 press left button hold it down and move it i will place it close to this outline because i would like to show you error which will be here uh, hover cursor over d1 press left button hold it down release we would like to place some additional text on this uh, layer left click on place left click on string go here write plus press tab place it here then change the text to be minus press tab uh, place it here and change the text to be federal academy or you can use your company name or your own name press tab and uh, place it down here left click right click press left click into empty space to unselect everything there is one more layer what you may want to add into your pcb uh, it is the board outline uh, layer which will show the shape of your board this uh, layer is used a lot in documentation so to add uh, another mechanical layer left click on this uh, color here right click uh, into this space somewhere uh, left click on add mechanical layer you can use any unused uh, mechanical layer so i'm going to say the or i'm going to select this mechanical layer too just left click left click on ok uh, right click edit layer and name it board outline press tab uh, zoom out be sure you are on board outline layer left click here then left click on place left click on line uh, you can change the line width to be uh, something a little bit wider or thinner uh, for our documentation maybe i'm going to use something a little bit thinner 0.1 millimeter press tab a left click down here left click 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 right click right click left click on view and left click on fit board you don't have to always use these tabs to switch between layers uh, you can use for example this uh, view configuration tab 
just left click here to hide or left click to show the layer or uh, what is much more useful is to create these layer sets sometimes happen you you need uh, some kind of uh, layer combination to use very often like for example a top or bottom view on your pcb very often you would like to see your pcb from the top or from the bottom and you can create these uh, layer sets and then you can use them through this button here down just left click on this ls and these are the default layer sets so uh, if you need to show all the layers just left click here and you will see all the layers or you can add your own custom layer set here and we are going to add the top and bottom view on our pcb so to create a layer set uh, just uh, left click on this button now left click here to name the layer like top view uh, enable and disable the layers which you would like to have in this uh, layer set so i'm going to disable this bottom this one and this one this one and save this view just left click on this button here uh, we would like to create also the bottom layer set uh, left click to add new bottom view i'm going to call it bottom view now we would like to enable the bottom layers disable this enable this one and disable this one and press save always when you would like to use this layer set just left click down here and just use it left click here yeah left click left click very useful or you can do it through this window which is here okay we have finished our pcb and now we would like to see if there are no errors we would like to see if we have connected all the nets and if we follow all the rules just left click on tools left click on design rule check and left click on this run design rule check button okay there are some errors if you go here into this document i will just close this left click uh, you will see that uh, there are five rule violations and uh, here are some more details the best way to check these violations is go into pcb so left click on this pcb tab and uh, left click on this panels button to enable these pcb rules and violations uh, uh, window just left click here I left click on all rules and here are all the violations uh, which are in our board and uh, i like this uh, i like using this window because when you left click on this violation down here you will see where exactly it is located on your pcb and this is very very useful do you know what is the problem here it says silk to silk clearance uh, violation it, it is actually 0.242 millimeter and it should be more than 0.254 millimeter so the distance between this r1 text and this uh, outline of the component this distance here is less than 0.254 millimeter to fix this violation we need to move this r1 text a little bit further so i'm going to left click somewhere into pcb zoom out and watch uh, how this uh, violation will disappear when I move it a uh, little bit away. Uh, be sure you are on top overlay uh, layer. Press left button on your mouse, hold it down and move the text a little bit further. Release the left button and the violation is gone. I'm going to move also this text down here so the PCB looks uh, better. Press left button, hold it down and move it release the light button the next violation is a little bit different just left click on the next violation and it says silk to solder mask clearance it is 0.25 and it should be more than 0.254 millimeter to fix this uh, we just need to go into rules I left click on uh, design left click on rules find the 
rule which uh, which is connected with this violation so uh, it's going to be this rule which is here silk to solder mask clearance inside of manufacturing left click on this rule and uh, adjust this uh, minimum clearance uh, very often i use uh, like 0.1 millimeter so just left click here and change this to 0.1 millimeter press tab uh, left click on ok now these violations they are still here so what we need to do we need to rerun the rule check left click to close this uh, window left click on tools left click on design rule check uh, left click on run design rule check and ta -da! left click to close this window and you can see there is zero rule violations awesome